Let's talk about researching. There's so many red flags coming through that's obvious to me. People keep on asking me, can you look into this, 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 this? Well, now let's just dive in. We're going to go through a couple of random projects and then you can see and I can see if there's any potential in them because most of them, in my opinion, are of course just there to take away your liquidity. So let's do it. Let's work out how to actually research. Let's take a, a look at this first tactic. Now, first time I'm hearing of this, so we're going to go through and check out a few different sources essentially. One thing is these early projects they're putting on the gold tick. This gold tick you can get from Twitter it's like 1500 US dollars a month or thereabouts. It was more expensive and now it's come down in price. All of the reputable brands will have things like this. As an example you can go have a look at something like Phantom. You're going to see it there. The DGN Ape Academy you'll also see it there but it is an expensive service. So typically a meme coin or something like that they wouldn't do anything like that. Now it's fairly normal for me to be followed because this means that they get on my radar potentially and maybe I cover them or something. The next thing we want to look at is the fact that they've joined July 2018. They didn't join in July 2018. We, we know this to be completely true. This is a reused recycled account. So they've bought an account that was old and they've bought the followers as well. So we can see Lofa on Soul, it's a frog, whatever. They've got an email address, which is strange. Anyway, let's have a look. So first time I've ever actually seen this token. So not a lot of engagement. Uh, the normal kind of pattern, which is pretty simple. Like just so you're aware, it's pretty easy for a group of friends and a dev to go and launch a meme coin and then launch a new meme coin and just go like that. They could very comfortably build themselves up to a couple million dollars in profit with maybe $100,000 in expenditure max. And they could do this very, very fast. So here we have, this is the token. I would stay away completely. You can go and join the Telegram. You're gonna see whatever you're gonna see. And if we have a look at this website, it's under maintenance. Okay, so this is exit liquidity. We can't even see what the actual contract address is and maybe the contract address isn't there. So what we could do to have a look at this first one is we could go to birdeye.so and let's have a look. It should be L-O-F-F-A-R. Maybe it's been released, maybe it hasn't. So thus far, there's nothing there. So they're probably just trying to build up some traction. You'll also see that it's not followed by anyone you're following. So in my opinion, this has all of the markings of a project that's trying to take your soul and go and give you a meme coin that's not going to do well. Not financial advice, in my opinion, if this ends up becoming the new whiff, then I was clearly wrong. Next up, Soul Sex. A couple of people have mentioned this as well, and I've very briefly looked into it, like four or five minutes. Let's go through it. The first centralized exchange launched on Solana, your trusted digital asset exchange. So a centralized exchange means that they control your assets. FTX was a centralized exchange. Coinbase's, Binance's, Bybitters, OKX's, etc, etc, etc. So there's nothing wrong with them. They just don't offer you full kind of freedom. Backpack is also another centralized exchange. Jupiter aggregates decentralized exchanges. Things like Drift is a DEX. Radium is a DEX. Orca is a DEX. Meteora is a DEX. These are all decentralized exchanges. So this is not a plus point. This is a, a negative thing. They have this. I did join it. I can't be bothered showing it to you because there's nothing worthwhile. There are um, a very few number of people that are actually following it. Uh, Bonkbot? All domains? Following it? Followers? That's just nuts. DJ News? There's not many here. The thing is, sometimes you just go and follow things to see what they can ship. Now, I mean, thus far, plenty of red flags. Uh, let's have a look at when they actually joined. Joined August 2022. Highly likely, not not completely impossible, but highly likely it was bought. Huge number of followers. Strange for me to not have too many in common. And also uh, they've gone with the tick as well. Let's have a look at this video because I, I want to watch it. Let's have a look. Okay, I don't really want to watch anything else. Basically, who is this person? No idea who the person is. I kind of feel like he was a paid actor because he's speaking relatively well. A couple of other things that are not necessarily red flags, but in my opinion, that just don't do these things. If you're going to launch a project, if you want to be taken seriously, don't have soul in your name. You don't need to have soul in your name. Also, you can come up with your completely own color palette. It doesn't have to be a ripoff of the Solana color gradient. So, and then soul sex exchange, whatever. 
They have a Telegram, they have a website. Let's have a look at this website here and let's just see what it's like. So I've turned off the shields. Normally shields are just on by default and just things were not loading very well. So turning it off. Okay, so we see this. Sol6 is a crypto exchange for everyone. Buy and sell crypto in minutes. Uh, a demo, there's a YouTube demo here. Trade on the go anywhere, anytime, blah, blah, blah. $38 billion in 24 hour trading volume on Sol6 exchange. 350 cryptocurrencies listed. And this is as a target and 120 million registered. This is a target? This is a strange thing to put out there. Build your crypto, verify your identity, fund your account, whatever. There's nothing really here. If we go and have a look at the docs, there's no information about the team. Problems, like there's no effort here. This is all something you could do with, you know, a weekend, essentially. They have a token already, affiliate. There's no actual affiliate. A little bit of chat on tokenomics. They've gone ahead and locked some tokens. For what? Just doesn't make sense. It's just, it's locked, but for what? And then they've got legal and compliance. Who on earth is this team? There's just no information here whatsoever. Okay, so we're back to the website here. Tokenomics takes us there. Markets, buy now, doesn't go anywhere. Community, Twitter and Telegram, buy now, it links to Jupiter. They don't have a working product. We go and copy this, go into BirdEye, go and paste this. Solsex, they, uh, they've been pumped. They're basically, I don't want to get in trouble. So I can't say anything that's going to get me in trouble but they have launched very, very recently. They've been pumped up to considerable highs. And even right now they're up like 7,000%. Fully diluted market valuation, 23 million. What does the token do? They don't have a live product. They just have something that was made with a screen recording and, and I don't even know. I, don't, I just don't know. So, okay, we come back here to the website. This all looks completely illegitimate to me. And then let's go and have a look at their actual posts. So Maneki, this is a meme coin. Um, they airdropped it to Saga holders. It was worth a couple of hundred dollars. Thank you. No idea about the project. They have a they have a tick. They seem to be doing well. All good. Thanks for listing. They're not listing. Like listing soon. They they have no platform to actually go and list. It's impossible. And then we just have I have no idea who this person is. They have more followers than me. And some people are just really knowledgeable with crypto they know that they can go and shield something that has no actual value at all and that's fine however when there's a utility token or an actual dat that has a token that's different to if it's a meme coin if this was advertised as it's a meme coin we have actual no product it's just a community coin fine but this is built on speculation and it's with an understanding that people have no idea what they're getting into. I'm not going to have a look at what these are. I have no idea what they are. Okay, let's have a quick look at this. Make it full screen and a little watch. All right, I've heard enough to basically whoever this person is uh, i mean they're just selling it right let's just let's just be honest if you want to go and buy this token because you think influencers will pump it and you're going to buy it with the full anticipation that you're going to take profits i understand i'm not going to do it myself but i understand however i'm just pointing out you're asking me to research it because you're unsure how to research it yourself which is fine we're covering that but this is just the goal is to pump it up and to sell it to you there's a particular term in crypto, I don't want to use it, but that's what I see as the goal. Let's have a look and see if there's other similar things. We are happy to announce, I don't know, 200 so add to liquidity. No idea what this one is. 1.1 million followers. BSC News, so this is Binance Smart Chain News. And let's just, I mean, look at this. If we go here, they've got 1.1 million followers. Six hours ago, 84 likes. Nine hours ago, 14 likes. 102 likes. How bad is your engagement that you go and put something out hours ago with 1.1 million followers and you just don't get anything? This clearly has botted users. Anyway, moving on, go down a few things. They're going ahead and, you know, shilling their thing. They've obviously gone and grabbed a whole lot of tokens, given them to some influencers, which I, by the way, I get emails all the time. We want to launch this. Can we give you some tokens? Can you include it in a video? Hell no. Not a, not a chance. Don't even email me. Okay, we've got something else. Mercedes 
no idea who this person is. A million followers. Crypto queen promoter. At least she's transparent about that. Let's go and watch this. I have no understanding why she wouldn't edit this video or why she wouldn't go and take off all the fingerprints or anything. She clearly has some skill and understanding uh, and she gets plenty of engagement, but completely obvious that she's a shill, right? It's obvious. What'd she say? What's her caption at the top here? I need money, not feelings. Okay, fine. Anyway, we could go through, go through. What's this? Binance Soul Sex, a press release? Let's just have a look and see if this is sponsored content. Soul Sex, revolutionizing crypto trading on Solana blockchain. Please, please, please. There's got to be something that says includes third party. Okay, this content aims to enrich readers. Always conduct independent research and use discretionary funds before investing. Can anyone like post something on this or something? Relevant creator. So this person was paid. They can put it on Binance Square, which I've never heard of. But I think anyone could go and make content here. And then they they go and shill it to people that are not uh, aware of what to do. Okay, so I think this is clear. It's obvious to me. It was obvious to me within like maybe 90 seconds that it was rubbish. But I want you to look out for these red flags. We've covered some of them here. Let's move on to the next one. Now, this is a list of tokens and protocols that I just have been linked to in comments. I'm looking at these now for the first time. And not all of them will be you know, full of red flags. Some of them may not have product market fit, or sometimes maybe they do have product market fit, but there's already a massive player in town, in which case, you know, maybe they should work on another area in crypto, which is, you know, it's a big area, but it's also very, very niche. So Wolf Swap, Swap and Earn, GameFi Aggregator Dex, 9,000 followers, been building maybe since 2023. Already the fact that this has, has a blue tick, which is normal, this seems far more reasonable. And let's have a look here. I have the strange things, and I don't think it's necessarily strange, but I mean, I've just said it's strange. When the dollar sign is after the numbers, that's unusual because one thing that's really important is, you know, there's a lot of the world that follows the American standard with the exclusion of like, you know, the imperial system of Fahrenheit and pounds and all that sort of stuff. Generally speaking, the world markets start from the US and then they flow to other countries. The US dollar is still deemed the world reserve currency. And there's plenty of other examples, you know, media, whatever goes on in terms of media, that's where most countries get the sources from. Even if you don't agree with it, that's just the way it is. So one thing that you'd probably best off doing is keeping in mind their actual standard because you're trying to attract crypto Twitter, which is millions and millions of Americans. Anyway, that's a small thing. Uh, now, what exactly is this? Most likely it's something in Europe, which is fine, but let's have a look. It seems as though there's some sort of decks like, you know, potentially like Jupiter or something, and they actually get rewards back. Okay, so they're on Polygon, Kronos, and Blast. They're not even on Solana. I have no idea why someone's mentioned it then, but fine. If they're on these other blockchains, all good, because there isn't actually a huge amount of competition over there. Blast, very little. Polygon, quite a bit. And Kronos, which is like the blockchain by Crypto.com, a decent amount. Okay, so at this point, the fact that it's already been mentioned to me, um, I mean, you can go and research it yourself, but you need to look into it quite a bit further because it's something that I'm not super familiar with if it's on multiple different blockchains. So what we'd basically do is we'd go to the website, you can go and join the Discord and the Telegram and go and have a look and see if there's a competent team behind them. We can see if there's an audit done. There's no results for an audit, so unlikely. And then Gamified Aggregator, Dex. How many people really want to get involved with this? Is this what they're after? To work on getting some brand new token that's on multiple blockchains? I don't know. For me, it's a pass because it's not on the Solana blockchain. And if it's on another blockchain, I feel it has to have major product market fit and probably you only want your token on one blockchain. Like try and dominate one blockchain first before you jump onto other ones as well. Plus, I don't actually know, like it says powered by Moon. Let's have a quick look. Let's uh, go back to this website. We'll go to CoinGecko and let's see if we can find Moon. Let's just, we just, I just saw that Maneki was uh, trending. Going down, they were, I don't know how they're going down. They were recently uh, listed on Solsex. Uh, Okay, so now we need to see if we can find Moon. Can't find it easily. I'm just going to skip it. 
Now let's have a look at this spider swap. So a Solana swap aggregator for everyone. Joined September 2008. Unlikely, it's a recycled account. A minor red flag. They have a blue tick, which is fine. If they had a, a gold tick so early on, that would be a bit really. Now they're going to Solana Crossroads, which is like Breakpoint, but it's community led, not foundation led. So although they've got smaller engagement, they are they're trying to ship something. So they're there, they're a real life team. They may or may not be docs, but you can go and meet the actual devs there. Now let's have a look at the actual website. And if this is a swap aggregator, it might be a little bit difficult. Terms and condition, not a big deal, missing an S. It's T's and C's. So there's probably gonna be a couple of other uh, mistakes here. However, they're from Switzerland apparently, and I cannot speak any other language well, so fine. Okay, uh, transactions created. Not really sure how to read this. I can I can see that this certainly has a bit of value though, because you can work out maybe this is what you want to use if you want to see what meme coins have just been created, and you can work out if it's safe. You can see how many ticks are there, if it's safe, and what do we have here? The liquidity, TVL, price, transactions created. So maybe if you're looking to try and get into meme coins straight away, this could be quite valuable. This could definitely have some sort of product market fit. This is their token. We'll have a look at that in a second. We're just doing this all live for the first time ever. And it seems as though as you do more and more swaps, maybe you get more and more spider tokens. And there's staking. Stake here, earn more. And what do we have down here? Different tiers, backer rewards, link to doc, guide me. Click on the stake button. The UI could do with a little bit of a refresh or an improvement, but that's fine. Bridge, powered by Dbridge, okay. I'm not gonna connect my wallet here. Uh, link to doc, links to doc, link, link to docs, probably. And the light paper looks like it's very, very small. What my issue here is essentially creating a token so early. So if we go and find out what is this token, spider swap, link tree, we should be able to see the contract address here. They've got quite a decent link tree set up. That's quite organized. So at this point, I can see it has a very narrow product market fit for people that really want to degen and maybe find new tokens really, really fast. But I don't know how fast it actually updates. Okay, so this is Spider here. And if we zoom out, let's work out when they first kind of launched, what they launched at and how it's doing. So they came to being in December and we'll kind of skip the first day. And since then, well, they're up considerably. The fully diluted market cap is 22 million. Not entirely sure why. We'd have to look at tokenomics, which we can have a look at. It went up crazy high. And then, of course, if you bought anywhere near this kind of top point, then your $1,000 has turned into $300 if you did something like that. So in terms of actually the token, it's not clear on why you would actually buy this token. It's not clear to me. Sentiment looks fine-ish. And if we go and grab this contract address, we could go to something like rug check, paste it in, check it, and we're going to get a score. Okay, so risk analysis, danger. Top 10 holders, high ownership, single holder, 50, high ownership. This could be a staking contract. And I mean, the top holders, 90%. So this is not a very liquid token. And also the amount of liquidity is quite low. So based on all that information, I wouldn't touch any of these. You may be interested. You've seen how I've done it. Now you can go and do it yourself. I know there's a lot more to that than researching. So that's just kind of like the first video, a bit of an intro video. And maybe we can do one of these videos every week. Then we'll create a playlist and then you can watch them all together in the future. But for now, please, if you find a good token that's gone through those initial checks, of course, put it below in the comments with a little bit of a thesis. If not, then we're just going to link you straight back to this video. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.